Do I look pretty? Do I look pretty yet? Hey, what are you guys doing there? <laughs> I didn't know you were watching. Just kidding, I set up a tripod in my living room that I can't seem to get focused. Hey guys, so I wanted to do a fun segment about something I've been doing for a while. I used to go get eyelash extensions a few moons ago and then I decided to let my eyelashes grow out naturally and be a little more healthy because they'd gotten like little bald spots and I think that I damaged them, but I decided to give it a try again because I'm all about that low maintenance beauty. I heard some really great things about this place, Iris and West, and I thought it'd be super fun to bring you guys with me today to go get my eyelashes. So I'm gonna take you now and show you behind the scenes of what it was like getting these done yesterday. I'm Amanda. I'm the founder of Iris and West Lash Company. We have been as Iris and West for about a year, but I've been doing lashes for over six. I started my business two years ago, but we rebranded, wanted to make it a bigger project, give beautiful lashes to all of the girls in LA. And we really wanted to make lashes something that is a little bit more fashion, a little bit more fun. We wanted it to be universal and different and more interesting. So we are in our consultation and Amanda is asking me about something that I've never even thought about and that is the level of curl to your lashes. So you were saying that there's three different types of curl generally. Okay. A really natural one, a medium one, and then a very curly one. So you said this is a medium? This is like a medium curl. So they're like kind of a C shape. Do you like a cat eye shape or something that's more round and open? Hmm. These questions are things I've never thought about in life. So this is like more round and open where it's longer in the middle. That's a more natural shape because okay. that's how most people's eyelashes grow. And then a cat eye is just the longer length is on the outside corner. So if you like strip lashes that are longer on the outside corner, if you wear a cat eye liner, that's a great way to sort of accentuate that. And you also don't have to stick to the shape. So today we can do a round and open. And then if next time I see you, you want more of a cat eye, we can start to transition you into a different shape. different lengths and diameters and curls to add more dimension because it looks more natural. It looks more authentic like they're your lashes. So I've got two tweezers and I'm just separating your eyelashes and getting one isolated. And then I just pick an extension up, dip it in the glue and place it on your lash. Not on your skin, just very close to your lash line without it actually being on your eyelid. How long do these last? So your lashes shed about every six weeks. So I recommend to fill every two and a half or three because when your natural lashes shed, as they would anyway, the extension comes off with it. To say that they last six to eight weeks, sure, maybe some extensions will still be on in six to eight weeks, but to keep them full, you need to be coming back every three weeks-ish just to keep them full because your lashes are always shedding and all of your lashes are always in a different lash cycle. How long does it take to apply a full set? So a full set is 90 minutes. What should you avoid doing with them? Like, is there anything I can't do when I wear when I have lash extensions? So just today, don't get them wet. So if you need to wash your face, just go around them with a washcloth. But then tomorrow, totally get them wet, get in the shower, wash your face. I have heard so many crazy things about like, I wore goggles in the shower or I don't get my eyelashes wet for three weeks. You want to keep your eyes clean and you want to keep your eyelashes clean. Um, and then no oil-based products ever. Oil breaks down the glue. So if you use oil on your skin, that's totally fine. Just be careful not to get it around your eyes. Eye makeup is totally fine. Obviously the point is to not need mascara, but if you want to wear mascara, that's totally fine some people feel like they need to in between fills just when it's like the last couple days just to blend their natural lashes in with their extensions that's fine just make sure it's not waterproof only because waterproof mascara is hard to get off and you don't want to like pick or pull at your lashes liquid gel liner is totally fine just make sure you're getting it off I think lashes should make your life easier not more complicated not like oh I can't use this or I can't do that or I want to wear eyeliner but it's gonna be a nightmare to take off like lashes should just be easy do these damage your natural lashes? The answer is they can, but they don't have to. Honesty, I love it. So 
So I will not do lashes that damage your eyelashes. It's one of my biggest priorities when I'm putting lashes on my clients. So the way that extensions damage your eyelashes is a few ways. One of which is putting extensions on your natural lash that are too heavy for your natural lash to support, because then it can break it off, or it can flip around, and then you're gonna pick at it and pull your lash out. Your natural lash is shed anyway, so they're coming out whether you have extensions on or not, just like the hair on your head. So what should be happening is your extensions should just fall off with your lash when it comes out, whenever it's ready to, and then you come back and get them filled. If you're seeing like an extension come off with like two or three of your natural eyelashes, that's really bad news because that means that your lashes have been all, all of your lashes have been glued to one thing. Your lashes are growing at different rates, right? So if one is growing faster than the other one, it can pull the other ones out. That's what happened to me. Mm -hmm. And it hurt. First of all, it it's really uncomfortable. Does hurt. It hurts and it can create little bald spots in your lash line. Luckily, your lashes are growing back perfectly. You don't have any little bald spots. They don't look broken, none of that. So they look really good. The other thing that can happen is not having your lashes maintained. So having a lash tech that's not taking time when you come in for a fill to take off the ones that are grown out or that are separating at the base. Good. They I do. feel like so pretty. You're I, so pretty. I feel pretty. You're like so I swear, pretty. it makes like a bazillion times of difference. It's nice, right? Oh my gosh, it's amazing. as you can see I'm really happy and I'll keep you guys updated if that changes so Amanda actually emailed me this morning and I was all like oh my girl and she asked me how my lashes were doing and I told her they were great and thanks for checking in but uh, I just thought she was so great and I think you know it's really important to find someone that you feel really confident in and someone that takes it really seriously so Amanda will give you this it says don't get them wet until tomorrow so I didn't shower last night not that I would have anyway don't judge me I was really careful not to get my eyelashes wet when I washed my face last night aka I didn't wash my face last night don't judge me also I said be careful not to get oil on them and give them a brush every now and, a, and again which is like just this little spoolie brush that she gave me can you see it you just use that and literally just comb them out and then that's about it. Please subscribe if you like this video. And if you have any other ideas for me on what you want to see or what you want me to attempt or try out and be your guinea pig, I'm happy to do that. Like this video, comment below what you think, any other questions you have. Um, and if you end up getting eyelash extensions or want to talk more, head over to Instagram. I'm at Alex Michael May, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! The next outfit that I tried was this really cool denim lace-up top. And I love chambray shirts, but the button-up ones sometimes don't feel super duper feminine to me. And what I loved about this one was the ties. It felt like super feminine, but I actually like